Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday break. Today, we'll be doing a webtoon reading of the Remarried Empress episode 31, 32, and 33. Let's get started. Recap time! Okay, so before we get started on episode 31, we have to talk about what is going on. So, this person right over here, we all know is Rashta, aka Trashta. She is a runaway slave who is a mistress to the king. And if you guys don't know, that's pretty embarrassing, especially for the Empress Navier. Uh, currently, right now, Rashta is being blackmailed by her former slave owner, Viscount Lotesu. And the blackmail is pretty much, he is stating that her baby that she gave birth to is actually alive. And that baby is a connection to her and Viscount Lotatio's son. Weird? Very weird. As of right now, she's been pawning and giving away her jewelry that the king have been, you know, have gifted her. As a way to pretty much keep the Viscount be quiet, you know, keep his mouth shut. And on top of that, Suddenly, they start teaming up together because the spotlight has been on her ever since she came into the palace. And the spotlight is not the greatest thing for her because she is known and well talked about for being the mistress, but also a runaway slave. So she's been working with Viscount on finding ways to diverge the spotlight onto something else or someone else. And so far, Viscount been helping her by gathering, like, information and, you know, to spread about other people, such as the Duke or the Duchess. So far now, because she's been pawning her jewelry, the king kind of been asking her about certain stuff, such as a very important ring. Of course, she told him that she kind of gave it to the maids because she felt bad for them, and so on and so forth. Of course, the king kind of started digging and found out that that's not very true. She's actually have given her rings, her jewelry, to Viscount Lotatio. Um, She, of course, was able to come up with a very good excuse. And the king ate it up. Don't even ask. He just did. All right. So from then, he pretty much came up with the idea that, hey, I'm going to hire someone to pretty much keep record and keep count of all your stuff from jewelry, money, and everything. Of course, she found out that she does, uh, is able to start earning an, an allowance each month or so. But then, of course, she realized she kind of can't spend it the way she wants to without it being recorded into the books. And with that being said, she's freaking out because now how is she going to pay Viscount Lotatio for all of his hard work on helping her, right? So now she kind of ran to Duke Erge for advice to help. And guess what? Duke Erge was like, yo, I can give you a loan. But guess what? There's a catch. Do we know what the catch is? We absolutely do not, but are we going to find out? Yes, ma'am, we will. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. We're going with it. Let's go. There's a catch. <laughs> a catch? Could you tell me what you'd need the money for? Why? So I can stop you if I think you're getting scammed. Since you're trying to spend money without the Emperor knowing, I'm sure it's for something shady. If you're about to get caught up in something weird, I should stop you. Uh, I think I can trust him. The truth is... The Remarried Empress. Episode 31. Let's make the public ball a masquerade ball. Masquerade balls were popular during the late Empress' reign, so I'm sure everyone will enjoy it. But as everyone will be wearing a mask, we'll have to be extra careful. Your Majesty, 
with security. How many days has it been already? Uh, does your majesty have something to say to Lady Rashta? Wasn't she there yesterday too? Yes, she was. Hmm. <laughs> Please don't be offended, your majesty. She is said to be wander around the palace. She's just a mistress from the lowest rung of society. <laughs> I'm sure there must be a lot of things that she does which are inappropriate as she doesn't know the etiquette required in the palace yet. But I'm sure she will learn eventually. Hmm. Is he saying that I'm being sensitive because I'm bothered by someone telling me everywhere? That would be all. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> hmm. Lady Artena. Mm. Yes, Your Majesty. What did she come to speak to me about, Your Majesty? Oh, that was Rashta. Why do you keep following me around? What? Um, I prefer if you didn't deny it. I'm sure you're also aware that we've been running into each other constantly. Uh, oh. It's because Duke Ergie said your majesty is a model empress. Uh, uh. Oh. I'm not from a noble family, so you know, there's a lot I don't know. Baron Lante does instruct me, but I can't learn properly from just listening to explanations. So what's your point? I want to be more like your majesty, but I doubt you will teach me etiquette and things like that, so I thought I could try and learn from you by observing you from afar. If you want to learn etiquette, then you should tell His Majesty or ask Viscountess Verde. I promise you I won't get in your way, so can't you just pretend you don't see me? I'll just watch you from a distance and you won't even know I'm there, please. She was copying everything I do? I don't know why you think you need to become more like me, Rashta. I'm sure Sylvesh loves you for who you are right now, and as you know, we are very different. And Duke Erge also became friends with the person you are now, so I don't think you need to follow me around. Uh, still. If you follow me in, way, in a way that's not noticeable, then I can't stop you from doing that. But if I do notice that you're following me, then I'll get the guards to send you far away from me. Hmm. <laughs> the dramatic turn. So don't follow me around. Hmm. A few days later. The day of the public ball. The public ball is an occasion where commoners are welcome and everyone can attend regardless of their status. It's popular because it's one of the few events where commoners and nobles can mingle. When public support is low, the imperial family will sometimes put on a public ball that is very grand. Support for Sylvester's reign isn't low enough for that to be necessary, but everyone will be amazed at your outfits, your majesty. I doubt it. People wear the most extravagant dresses to masquerade balls. But not everyone can pull off such an intensely red gown like your majesty. <laughs> Is that supposed to be a compliment? Uh, well... Lately, Rashta... Uh, huh? She's so... <laughs> she tried to be discreet. I mean, it's... It's kind of cute. Hasn't been following me around in such an obvious way like before, but... Hmm. Click, clap, click. <sighs> huh? Commotion. Oh no! How could this be? Oh no! She's wearing red! 
Oh, this is awkward. Huh? Yikes. Oh, your majesty, your dress is similar to mine. Did you wear a summer dress on purpose? You have crossed the line, Lady Rashta. <laughs> so when you said you wanted to be more like me, did you mean you wanted to copy everything I do? What I said then was has nothing to do with this. This time, your majesty is the one who copied me. Why would I do that? Copying you would only make both of us the subject of ridicule. So why would I do such a thing? Uh, you should also bear that in mind in the future. Oh. Wow. Lady Rashta. Who copied who? It's probably Her Majesty because she arrived later. Come on, do you think she'd turn up later if she was the one who copied that woman? She beat her up to the punch. <laughs> Maybe she knew we think that way and used it as a tactic to trick us. Should I round up everyone who's being rude? It's fine. But why would Her Majesty wear a summer dress to someone else? Oh, I heard the silver-haired woman is his majesty's lover. That's right. And what's more, I heard is she's not a noble woman. In fact, she's a commoner, just like us. Wait, so did she do that on purpose, just to screw her over? <gasps> do all mistress mistresses act this way? It makes my blood boil. Who could have leaked the information about what I was going to wear? Your Majesty. Your Majesty. <laughs> you have no idea how surprised I was when I saw Her Majesty and Lady Rashta wearing gowns that were incredibly similar. Although, technically, Lady Rashta arrived at the ball first, and Her Majesty arrived later. Is that so? What a coincidence. I was the one who told the Empress to wear a red gown. Huh? To be continued. Whew! Episode 32. I was the one who told the Empress to wear a red gown. Huh? You look even more beautiful than I could have imagined, Empress. And thank you for honoring my request. Why did he lie? I will wear whatever color you request, your majesty. Ah, so your majesty requested it. It's lovely to see that you both still have such an excellent relationship. Someone's jealous. If you excuse me, why did he help me? Who copied who? What do you think, your majesty? To be honest, it doesn't really matter. Then why did you take my side? I had no choice. Huh? You represent the Eastern Empire. How you are perceived is how the Imperial family is perceived. Isn't it obvious who dignity I have to protect? I see. Wow! What a great dancer! She's dancing. Hmm. She is um getting the attention on her. Wow. <laughs> Why don't you ask her for a dance? What? Over there? You look like you want to. Are you jealous? Jealous? Who? Me? If you're not, then why are you mocking me? Nobody's mocking you. When are you going to stop being so contrary when you're angry? 
I would say the same about you. I've always wondered, did my mother teach you how to win arguments when you were a child? How do you always manage to have the last word? Do you really want to know? I do, actually. Then shall we set our titles aside for a moment and then spend the next half hour addressing each other as equals? Then I'll tell you. <laughs> do you remember suggesting the same thing when we were younger and what you did afterwards? <laughs> she beat him up. I'm not going to fall for that again. I know what you're like. <laughs> I refuse. That was fun. Huh? Are they talking about affairs with the state even at the party like this? Hmm. The Emperor never talks to me about that kind of stuff. And Duke Ergie never not here because he went to Rimwell. Bye, Lady Rashta. I wonder if he managed to find out a bit more information about the baby. That man is... <laughs> Duke Tania. The Remarried Empress. Episode 32. Do you want some as well? No. I'm having cake. Do you know how many pieces you've had so far? What about you, Your Majesty? Do you know how many glasses you had so far? Once the ball is over, there will be ru armor, a rumor, a rumor going around that the Empress really loves cake. It's better than getting drunk and acting silly in front of our subjects. I'm not going to drink that much. Hmm. Hmm. Huh? Hmm. He's not jealous? Well, it's none of my business anyway. My queen. Prince Henry. Prince Henry. Do you mind if I join you for a moment? I'm not a very good dancer. Really, you seem to be a fine form to me. Huh? How have you been, your majesty? Though he's not the jealous type, he doesn't seem to like people who gives his lover a hard time. Four days later. There were so many noble women and ladies who asked about your dress that it's difficult to identify the person who leaked the information, Your Majesty. I suppose it makes sense as people would want to avoid getting the same gown as me. Your Majesty, have you heard what happened? It's really big news. Laura, I told you not to run in front of Her Majesty as it makes you look unladylike. What could be so important that you needed to tell me this urgently? It's about Duchess Tuania. <gasps> Duke Tuania. Huh? This is some good tea. <gasps> Let's go. Told her that he wanted a divorce. Apparently, people heard him yelling about how he was suspicious that her, their son was actually his brother's heir, and that he couldn't help but feel suspicious because of how she usually acts. He also took issue with how she got into a fight with another woman over Duke Erge. He said that there must have been something going on between her and Duke Erge, or she wouldn't have ended up getting into an altercation over him. Somebody apparently once asked Duke Tuania's father if he minded whether his grandson might actually be Lord Marius' child. He said that it didn't matter to him because the child would still be his grandson either way. This all does seem rather strange. They said that the D Duchess got pregnant after just one night of passion before she married the Duke, but she hasn't been able to conceive following her marriage. 
The Duke can't even trust the paternity test conducted by the temple, so I understand why he might feel frustrated. The temple's paternity test lo lost credibility after an incident in which two twins' brother were both named as the father of a baby 35 years ago. What? Perhaps the Duke is actually impotent, but didn't pursue the matter because of his pride. But it's been 10 years since all of that ha happened, and it was all swept under the rug. Why is he filing for a divorce now? Hmm. Drashta. Could it? Have something to do with Rashta. Rashta? How did the Duchess respond, Loda? She said she would never agree to a divorce. They might even end up going to court over it. Find out why the Duke suddenly wants a divorce. Yes, Your Majesty. If this is something that Rashta planned, then I can't just let her get away with it like before. Because that means... That Rashta is now able to manipulate high society. Four days later. Your Majesty, I got some terrible news. It's about Viscount Landre. Huh? He stabbed Rashta with a knife. What? And thus began yet another tumultuous turn of event. To be continued. Episode 33. Viscount Landre stabbed Rashtra with a knife. Huh? Viscount Landre is a man who recently fell head over heels in love with Duchess Twania. It seems that Viscount also thought that Lady Rashtra was the one who started the rumor about Duchess Twania. Everything started out fine. I'm told Rashtra was the one who let the Viscount in. He must have no done this because he's in love with the Duchess. Then Duke Urge said he smelled blood and stormed in after kicking the door down and stopped the Viscount at the scene of the crime. Viscount Landre was arrested right away. When they caught him, the Viscount kept yelling at the top of his lungs. How is Russia doing now? <sighs> How is Rashta doing now? He said earlier that her life isn't in danger, so why does he look so concerned? <sighs> Your Majesty. Thank you for saving Rashta. I just happened to be in the right place at the right time. I see. Does he really not care that another man came to visit his lover so late in the evening? Hmm. Is it because he's still in shock, or... I knew it! Huh? <gasps> Should you be pressing the area near her wound like that? Huh? Congratulations, your majesty! What? No way. Lady Rashta is with child. No way! They've been sleeping together? Okay, um... What? She got stabbed and the baby survived? Alright, we're gonna go with it. Huh? She's... Pregnant. The Remarried Empress. Episode 33. This is gonna be a horrible cliffhanger, I can tell already. The next morning... Your Majesty, His Majesty is here to see you. This early mo early in the morning? Show him in. Yes, Your Majesty. Step, step, step. Huh. Uh. Rashta is pregnant. Huh. Hmm. I'm afraid I can't give you my congratulations. The child will be illegi illegitimate, but it will still be my first child. Illegitimate. I can't say illegitimate. 
a legitimate, a legitimate. I can't do it. I see. I don't expect you to congratulate me, but I want you to increase Rasha's allowance next month so that that going forward, it is around the same amount that other mistresses who gave birth to children received. I will do so. And Rasha isn't conscious yet, but her life isn't in danger. Hmm. Weird. Huh? <gasps> <laughs> Queen, why do you look like that? Queen, when did you get here? <laughs> huh? Oh. Hug. Ba -boom. Ba -boom. Oh, thank you. That hug made me feel much better. What am I going to do? Once Rasha's baby is born, it will be the Emperor's first child. Plus, it will be cute, and people love babies. It will only take those three qualities for people to fall in love with it. If I act coldly towards a child like that... Your Majesty, Prince Henry is here to see you. He says he has something urgent to tell you. Prince Henry? He's never come to visit me in my chamber before. What brings him here? Let him in. Uh, click. I came to comfort you. Would you say no to me giving you a comforting hug as a friend? Uh, after all, it's <clears throat> not unusual for a friend to hug each other to comfort one another. Go ahead. Wow. He smells like Queen. Boom, 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 boom. I must really be a terrible person. What do you mean? I came to comfort you because I thought you may be upset, but I keep having wicked thoughts. What do you mean? Uh, was I too close to you? No, that's not what I meant. I'm not that kind of uncivilized man who would get excited in this kind of situation. Oh my god. Uh, I'm just digging my own grave right now, aren't I? <laughs> Your tea will get cold. Take a seat. Uh... If you were a woman, the emperor would have fallen for you, because you have very beautiful eyes. That's a truly odd way to compliment someone. If I were a woman, I would work at the palace as your lady-in-waiting. But why? So I could be by your side all day. You want to be my lady-in-waiting? Please cast your mind back to what I said after that, your majesty. <laughs> Your Majesty, Duchess Twania is here to see you. At this hour? Your Majesty, I, sh I know I shouldn't be asking this of you. But please, spare Viscount Laundry's life. To be continued. Woo! And that's a wrap. Not a huge cliffhanger, but it's pretty big news because one, Rashta is semi in a coma, we're assuming, and she is pregnant with the king's first baby. Uh, of course, we at the very last scene, we had Duchess Twania coming in, begging the queen to spare Viscount Landre's life. We don't know if Viscount Landre is actually uh, the Duchess lover, but we're going to assume so. Other than that, it was a great uh, three episode, guys. Thank you so much, you guys, for tuning in. Thank you. I want to thank you again for supporting me and watching my YouTube channel and stream. You guys are amazing. Have a wonderful holiday, a wonderful new year. Please stay safe, stay healthy, 
and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! I said, baby, would you ride with me? Baby, would you ride with me? Yeah. I said, baby, would you slide for me? Tornado flew around my room before you came. Excuse the mess it made. Usually does it rain in. Yeah. But tonight I'm really feeling pressure, girl. You know I'm feeling. I can do you better than he did it. Yes, I mean it. Take you on the rest and every road you see a scene. You're so beautiful. Know you my baby. Love you. Know I need it. I give you my heart and I do not want much in return. I just need patience, I'm willing to listen, I'm willing to learn Look, I just want to put you on the road We both got a pass, yes you know that I know You know that that's the shit that's gonna make us close And every day I need you I said baby would you ride for me Oh yeah, yeah I said baby would you slide for me Hey, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You feel the low, then come and hide with me. Hey, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cause I just want you right beside me.